Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be looking at space weather, a new James Webb close-up shot of a supernova remnant, pre-seismic signals along magnetic field lines, and some of the missing pieces of Earth's geomagnetic excursion pole shift cycle. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star here, and it was a surprisingly quiet day. Apart from a filament release on the north near the end of the sequence, we had no eruptive events, no significant solar flares, and the massive sunspots are just staring us down. Taking a closer look at the photosphere here, we find that the groups are big, definitely some complexity, but it's like they're holding their breath, waiting. They will be directly facing Earth over the weekend, and hopefully their silence continues because they've got some power. Moving on to James Webb, NGC 6302 is a very famous remnant, but now the central core has been super zoomed and dissected by the infrared scopes of Webb. Nobody expected a helical-like corkscrew of the bright plasma arcs, it's the far right image, and the lack of a defined core. Astronomers are going to be scratching their heads here for a little while. Up next, so why do we care about the bajillionth pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals paper? Because this one proved that even the purely electroparticle anomalies must propagate into the sky via the magnetic field lines. The distance, pattern of offset, and latitude dependence of both tells us that these pre-seismic signals are moving from the epicenter upward into the sky along those fields. Lastly, on the article front, by taking a more complex model run of electrodynamic activity inside the Earth, the team was able to produce a strong, stable field for long periods, punctuated by rapid geomagnetic reversals. The fast event is confirmed once again. Nope, it's not a thousand-year unfolding event. They still can't account for the short cycle of excursion pole shifts, though, as they show up randomly in their model, rather than the cycle we observe here on Earth, but they are filling in the blanks, and that's a good thing. Folks, we are three days away from this month's special issue of Observer Review. This is looking outside of the weather and earthquake forcing, and looks at society, things like conflict, market prices, etc., and how they are worked by the sun. Big special issue coming in three days. Link is below. And folks, we are pretty much set for the film. November 15th will be the documentary release. Goldobservers.com and GoldCo are bringing our documentary free to the world. Right now, you can get up to a 10% match on silver through Goldobservers.com. And remember folks, observers prefer physical metals over paper notes. Gotta get it in your hand if you want to be sure you're secure. That's Goldobservers.com. Link below to Observer Review as well, special issue three days away. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.